All right, so we've gone through the CV as it should be seen. Some of you now will be saying, well, where do your references go? You don't need references on your CV. It's one of these things that people think you need them. You absolutely don't. When I want that reference, I'm going to ask you for it. So why are you wasting space on your CV putting it on? Okay, so no references there at all. If you're really desperate, references available on request will, be, will suffice. So to summarise where we've gone through, you really need to just take that little bit of time, slow down. I don't want to see one CV going out there applying for 30 jobs that are all different. Okay, I want you to take a bit of time. If you're applying for a particular job and you spend an hour updating that CV, send that CV. You'll get a better response if you take your time on it. Okay. Um, when we're looking at your CV overall, remember that single font. Don't give me information, certainly do not lie, um, and make whatever is on that CV pointed towards the job that you're doing. So as we sort of said, that personal profile and key skills, they're really going to change in every job that you do. Your maximised space there in regards to your work skills, I want you to potentially have that one CV that covers it all, and you can talk to me about those jobs and remove bits that aren't relevant where you need to. Save, I don't care if you've got 150 copies of your CV, but they're all relevant to the job you're applying for, that's gonna get you the response. Finally, please, when you save your CV, save your CV under your name. The amount of times I get a CV that's called my CV, I download it into a folder, I can't find you. So really put your name on it, even if it's just your first name, even if it's, well, your first name and surname, that's what's gonna make my life easier. Remember. The CV is all about making me want to invite you to the second stage. So there are documentations. If you do feel that you are lacking in an area like that, this is just one of our small sections from our employability programme. So if you do need more information, by all means, contact us on the information provided and we can always take you through further, especially on things like competency-based interviews as well, just to give you that best opportunity. Okay? Good luck with what you're doing. Hopefully, you'll get back into work. If not, remember, we're here to help, so check out the website to see what we can offer. For more support in getting you back to work, why not try one of our fully funded courses? Book now in the description below or message us on Facebook.